Now, why are you... Yeah, there you go. Now we've got it. Now we've got it. All right. Cast here. Going over here. Can we make it? Telekinetic. Got it. You received two telekinetic pizzazz points. Excellent. All right, so good. We got two. We just need three more, right? Um, so next maze. Oh, boy. A whole new room. This is a really nice place. I could spend time here. Just get one of these books, chill out. I mean, these chairs don't look super comfortable. They look okay. All right, let's check out the maze. Let's work backward. So here's the statue. Oh, interesting, Chris. I'd never heard of that, but it's it sounds really good. I do like pancetta. All right, so if I move this here and then here and then here, we're good, but how would I get, even get it here? Um, I see it. It's just going to take a while. So I can pull it down, shoot it here, up here, 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 and then down, and then over, and I'm good. All right, no problem. Come on over. Exactly, brew house. Um, the, those floating chairs in the mage tower are unbelievable. If those ever become available in my lifetime, I hope to get one, use it a bunch, and die in it. Dying happy and relaxed. All right, let's see. Now, deconstructed lasagna, Chris, is what happens when I eat lasagna because I like lasagna so much that I just basically tear it apart in an effort to get all the lasagna into my mouth. The layers just fall apart. Ooh, I got all my potato seeds from the Grand Exchange. Yes! Hey, I, I raised up a magic level. Look at me. I'm becoming a real wizard at this arena. Does anybody actually level up their magic skill here? It's not that bad. It actually... You know. It seems to be pretty reasonable. It's a good place for skillers? Feels like it. Uh-oh, am I out of runes? I'm out of the, uh... A rune that I need. Oh, it's like a... What's that rune? Was that an air rune that I needed? Am I out of air runes? Bah! I've got the law runes. Wow, interesting. I, I ran out of air runes. If I leave, will I have to do this all over again? That stinks. I thought my staff provided infinite air runes. What is my staff providing infinite water runes? Wow, a pinwheel format for lasagna? I had no idea about that. Or is my staff making infinite steam runes? I thought I had a staff of air too. I have a mystic steam staff. So I guess it's not... Um...
It's a slightly magical stick. Yes, it is. All right. Well, then I'm going to have to go get some air runes. No problem. Oh, so it does. It's a combo staff. So it does both water and fire. Interesting. I didn't realize that. All right. Um, okay. Well, then let me bail. And I'll do this one again. This isn't really that hard. Yay. It costs a few millions and it's level 82. Well, I'm not really close to that. But luckily there's a... Let's see if I have air runes in my bank. That seems important. I hope that I do. I might have a staff of air in my bank, which I could just use fine. Alright. Yeah, I do have a staff of air. I'll just take a staff of air out. Yeah, because I don't have any air runes. I'll take all these law runes. All right. Good. Good. Wow. That's interesting, Chris. I'd never thought of doing that. I like ravioli and lasagna. So what you're telling me sounds really good. All right. Let's get back to this. Um. Oh, it's a new maze. Okay. Observe. Alright, so I need to get it here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this one's super easy. Yes. Oh. Sorry, Brew House. I missed it. Yeah, completely. The good thing is... Um, all I have to do is just put this on, and I, I've got infinite stuff. Not infinite law runes, but infinite. All right. So while this thing is sliding, let me go over here. Ding. You really are, Chris. You need to write a cookbook. Hey, why didn't it move? Thank you, Brew House. I really appreciate that. That's so nice of you. I will let you know when I need to lay down the law. You get it? Yeah, this soundtrack is hilarious. I agree. It's like really intense, midi, magical. Yeah, it's, it's a nice throwback. And this quest, I think, is from 2010, too. Well, the quest is. I don't know if this location is from 2010. Here we go. Pizzazz me. Oh, we did it. Boom. We just need to do one more. To get these pizzazz points. Oh, hilarious, brew house. I would be lawless, now that I think about it. All right, let's take a look at this situation. All right, so I need to get you over here. Okay. 
So it's basically a situation of boom, 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 boom. Okay, all I have to do is pull up here, over here, down, 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 down. No problem. This one's actually pretty easy. Oh, that's funny, Nick, man. So this quest was a reaction to the community not understanding well enough how to make combination runes. So they created an entire quest to instruct people. This is like at my work where they do digital trainers and you have to watch videos and take quizzes to get certified, you know, for certain protocol or whatever. They built an entire training academy and quest just to help other players understand how to combine runes. See, this is how you teach people. You make a fun game. <laughs> IBK, good evening, my friend. I, I don't have any idea how to make combination runes. So I'm going to try to make one for this quest and, and learn it, but... That's that's definitely on my list of like things that I need to learn how to do. Oh, the arena was here long before and they just repurposed it for the training module. I like it. Um, I need to get this out of my way for a moment so I can cast this on this. Yay, we got all the pizzazz points. All right, let's bail. Don't ever do it without an enchanted emerald necklace. Okay, then. All right, so I got the pizzazz points. So he's going to tell me about what I need to do to make these golems. Let's go talk to this guy. Oh, interesting, Nick, man. That would help save some time for sure. Keybind the grab. There you go. All right, I got the points, dude. Hello? Oh, my God. This guy's asleep. Wake him up. Wait a moment. Hi, right, I'd like to talk to you about Rune Guardians. Ah, they have a fascinating history, you know. The technology they're based on is really quite ancient. Actually, I just wanted to know how you made the current ones. Oh, of course, of course, I'm getting to that. You see, it was Wizard uh, Cedridor's idea to rebuild the Mage Training Arena. He's the head wizard at the Wizard's Tower, you know. Good chap, I've had many a fine drinking session with the man. He can see off more wizard mind bombs than anyone. Um, great. Hear more of the story. Really? Oh, yes. He could probably ri uh, rival a Fremenek when it comes to drinking. It was during one of these sessions he had the idea to rebuild the mage training arena. One was our apprentices. Uh, one of our apprentices had recently exploded. Good, good. I'm glad you blow people up. So Cedridor was determined to make training safer. He first got drunk, and then he made the training program well, Cedridor sent us a few over here to uh, keep an eye on rebuilding. He wanted us to research methods for defending and administering the training arena so it would function like a well-oiled machine. It was my idea to bring back the Guardians, you see. When I was young, I had traveled extensively, and in the desert I found an ancient city. You should go there someday. It's very educational. Um, hear more of the story. It does sound interesting. What's the city like? It's like walking through history, my boy. Standing there, you imagine the ruins as complete buildings, hearing the noisy streets, seeing the populace pass by you in their day-to-day -day activities. This city pioneered a technique for creating golems. Well, I thought the technique could be applied to the mage training arena's guardians, so we modified the theory and managed to get some of them working again. You see, it all comes down to runes and rune essence. Rune essence is marvelous stuff, soft enough to be shaped into almost anything, yet it can be so easily imbued with magic. Why, I remember when I once traveled to a distant isle where the stuff was available en masse. The women there were quite odd, very floaty. Don't you mean flighty? Do you want me to finish or not, bum? 
so he used a great deal of essence to repair the bodies of the guardians. Edvin was in charge of that. He was my apprentice at the time. I supplied him with 20 pieces of essence and two enchanted emeralds. That was my true contribution, you see, the enchanted emeralds. It was tricky, but I developed a method to enchant emeralds on their own. They're not good for much, but I, I like how this guy's like, emeralds aren't good for much, except for exchanging for goods and services because of their intrinsic value. Wow, okay, so the Archmage is the greatest wizard in the world. Touche. Oh, I get to meet the floaty women? Yeah, awesome. It. I think my workbench is still in the basement. If you use an emerald on that, you should be able to repeat the method. Wizard Shug explains how to enchant an emerald on its own. I could tell you how I developed the method, too. It's fascinating, really. I was sitting in my thinking chair deep in thought... Uh, actually, I really must go. Pressing business, you know how these things are. Uh, of course, I understand. Goodbye. Aw, oh, he didn't understand. Did you see how he was looking down all sad? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you talk to the rewards guardian? He looks like a real nice guy to chat with. Actually, can I get anything? Hi. Greetings. What wisdom do you seek? Um, can I trade my pizzazz points, please? Why, of course. All right, I have five. Uh, five won't do anything. What can I get? Wow. Examine it. Mystic robes. Are these infinity robes good for anything, or are they just cosmetic? Bones to peaches? What are you talking about? A spell to turn bones into peaches. My God, we could solve the world's hunger if we just turned all the bones into peaches. I know. I, me too, Sir Theodore. I would sit there and listen for a long time. All right, let's go down. Okay. And let's go into the basement. Oh my god, nope. You need boots for master treasure trails? Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's the animation table. That's not his workbench, apparently. Operate the workbench. Here we go. Hey, I did it. All right. I've got two enchanted emeralds. Perfect. They're decent. Very valuable. All right, cool. So I could just come and do a bunch of mazes and get those cool robes. That sounds fun. All right. Um, let me go toss to Dugal. Let's see if I can make this steam rune. There's Edvin. He hands me some supplies. That's all you'll need to make the combination runes. There should be a book down here that explains how to make combination runes. If you haven't done it before, just search the bookcases. All right, here's the uh, binding necklace. Interesting. All right. So wait a minute. Could I make money then, Significant Rodent, by buying the Infinity Robes and then selling them on the Grand Exchange? Like, if I got a bunch of those pizzazz points? Or are you limited to how many you can buy, like, per, per account or something like that? Ah, you find a book entitled Combination Runes. Oh, it's easier to make money other ways? Well, touche. Combination runes are a highly advanced form of rune crafting. They allow for the binding of two types of elemental magic. 
into a single piece of essence. While this might not seem essential to the regular mage, combat mages find it vital for saving precious space in their packs. To make combination runes, you'll need runes and a talisman of one elemental type. For example, earth, some essence, plus a talisman of the secondary element you wish to bind your runes with. Example, the following instructions for making mud runes. You will need the following supplies. Earth runes, earth talisman, essence, water talisman, or tiara. Enter the water altar using your water talisman or tiara. Then simply use your earth runes on the altar. Your earth runes... Earth Talisman and Essence will disappear and you will have crafted Mud Runes. You will lose your Earth Talisman in the process. There is a 50% chance of success when you try to craft Combination Runes unless you happen to be wearing a Binding Necklace, in which case you have a 100% success rate. The Binding Necklace can only be used 15 times before it disintegrates. Note that you could also craft Mud Runes by binding Water Runes at the Earth Altar. Okay, so if I want to make Steam... I need fire and water. Okay, great. Oh, okay, brew house. All right, let me uh, let me wear the binding necklace, and then let's find the altar that they're talking about. Um, are the altars upstairs? They don't look like they're down here. Hmm. Oh, the talismans will help you navigate to the to them? Okay. They're not in the building. Okay, thank you. All right, so let me see. Um, if I want to locate... I, I actually want to use the fire talisman. Locate fire talisman. The talisman pulls toward the southwest. Okay. There's a fire altar by the dueling arena. The southwest. Okay. All right, so north, so this way. We're going southwest. Oh, what's this mysterious ruins? Oh my god, what happened? No, I don't want to do that. Did I do the wrong thing? Or is that, um... Was that the right thing? I do remember the imp that puked. Do I want to go into this mysterious ruins? Is that how you get to the altar? Oh, it looks like an altar. Cool. All right, great. And then let's craft a rune at the altar. I did it. Craft a fire rune. But I didn't really want to craft a fire rune. I want to craft um, a steam rune. Okay, so I what? Let's see. Um, I need to use the, the talisman on here. Is that right? Let me see. Enter the water altar, and then use all your runes on the altar. Oh, I'm out of essence. I just clicked on it, and it automatically did something. Okay, so let's go back and get my essence. Whoops. Okay. All right, fair enough. We can fix this. We know where the bank is. It's over here. Go get it. Go get it. How much essence does a man need? So much. We'll get it. Dun dun. All right, we're gonna get a, a handle on this. All right, let me use the chest, and let me then uh, deposit all of this, and then um, 
There we go. You need the essence. You have to either use the water talisman on the altar. Or, okay, okay, perfect. So I'll go back to that and then use the water runes on the fire altar. <laughs> yeah, a few tens of thousands. Sure, that would fit in my pack. No problem. Here we go. I mean, this is pretty scary. I'm just surrounded by lava. I feel like Bowser's in here somewhere. All right. So, let's use the water rune on the altar. I did it. I made 10 steam runes. Now that's how you make steam runes. You made 230,000 nature runes? Holy smokes, Proby. It, it does look more like cheese. It would be hard to fathom how these trees would not be burning if this was just molten lava. But let's not think about that. All right, let's go see if this guy is impressed with what we've done. I'm impressed by what we've done. I just made some combination runes. Yeah, I saw that brew house. It said 50% too. It's like the worst. Can you imagine that? If you just lose all of your rune essence that you had to carry there because you didn't have that binding necklace, that is terrible. All right, let's go talk to this guy. I'll be like, look at the steam runes that I made. Can't you tell me your secrets? Make any progress on those runes? I've crafted some. I have them right here. These aren't too bad. They're the best he's ever seen. A bit more practice and you'll be a first-class runecrafter, just like me. I'm already better than you. Hi. Can't you see I'm working? Just leave me alone. But I thought... All right, wait, that was his contribution. So I have the runes now. I did it. Um, and now I just need to talk to Wizard Edvin and see the next piece of the proverbial puzzle because I have the enchanted emeralds as well. I still need 20 pieces of rune essence. Okay. Okay, Proby. I'm actually getting ready to go to sleep as well. I really hope your dog is okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Jeez. I gotta take my dog outside right now. Everyone, I'm going to um, stop the stream here. We'll finish this next time on Friday. I want to thank you all so much for coming out and playing some RuneScape. Oh, wait, before I leave, look at this guy's little trash can. I just noticed this man's little waste paper basket. How cute is that? He's got a little waste paper basket. That's amazing. I haven't seen one of those in the game. All right, everyone, thank you so much for stopping by, hanging out, and playing some RuneScape. It was a lot of fun. Sir Theodore, Significant Rodent, Neo, Proby, Brewhouse, Nickman, IBK, Episcacat, Good night, everybody. Take care. I'll check you on Friday if you want to play some more RuneScape.